Hey YouTube, this is Justin with Alternative Drummer. Today I've got a video about this little thingy. This is a vintage Optimus cassette recorder. I've had this cassette recorder for, I don't know, 20 years probably. I've had it a really long time, but it's always been really reliable. These were made by Radio Shack. Uh, it's an Optimus CTR-115. And what I wanted to do today is record my electronic drums directly to this little cassette recorder. Um, I've never actually done that yet, so I don't really know what it's gonna sound like. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to sound pretty cool, but the main reason why I wanted to test this out is because of a project that I'm working on uh, with Mockman Mini, which is the current electronic drum musical project that I've been doing. Maybe you've seen some of the videos on this channel, uh, but there's a link down below and what that link takes you to is my Bandcamp page and I'm recording basically my original songs directly to cassette and doing them one at a time for everybody who orders a cassette. So you will have a unique one of a kind cassette if you order one using that link down below. So basically this is the test for that project. So what I'm gonna do first is hook the drums up directly to the cassette recorder and see what they sound like. Uh, recorded just, you know, straight to the cassette. And then I'm gonna blend it with the backing tracks. The, basically the way I'm gonna do it for the cassette orders. Uh, I'm gonna run through Ableton Live and pipe Ableton Live with the drums out to this cassette deck and record everything at once live. So <laughs> anyway, I guess let's get started. Here we go. First off, I'm gonna show you guys playing drums, recording directly to cassette. Thank you. 
All right, I just got done listening back to everything and man, this thing records really, really hot. And the reason for that is there's really no level adjustment of any kind that you can do on this thing where you're using the uh, microphone input. It does have a mic sensitivity switch, basically that has three settings, low, medium, and high, but that only affects the built-in mic, which actually pops out right here. I forgot to show you that, which is really cool. So that pops out like that. Um, but it sounds absolutely terrible, <laughs> the built-in mic. But the line in, uh, or mic input, uh, if you run directly into it, it basically has this kind of automatic level adjustment, which keeps it from being ridiculously high, but it also keeps it right at the top where you're getting plenty of tape saturation, which is pretty cool. You know, it sounds pretty cool, especially on some of the drum sounds. I think that would be really useful to like record basically an entire drum track that way and then build a song around it on the computer so the rest of the instruments would sound clear. I think that would be a really cool project to do. With the full music, it sounds cool too. It's pretty distorted, but it's definitely a sound. You know, it's cassette and it sounds like a bunch of cassette saturation, which is pretty cool. This thing actually only records mono as well, but it's the same on both channels, left and right. Uh, so it is like true mono. It's not just on like the left channel or the right channel. It's actually both channels, but they're both exactly the same. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that was fun. Thanks for watching. See y'all really soon. Have a great day.